Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to do two sum in Swift. So let's get right into it. First, we're going to declare our dictionary so we can hold all of the numbers that we've seen in the array when we loop through it. And then we're going to declare our result, which will be the numbers that we return the indices of the numbers that we return. And then we're going to write out our for loop in order to loop through all of the numbers in the input array so we can find the two corresponding numbers that will add up to our target. So we're going to need our current index and then the number n in nums.enumerated we need to do this enumeration in order to get both the index and the number. And so the next step would be finding the complement to n that would sum up to target. So we're just going to declare complement. And so that's going to be equal to target minus n. And then we're going to check to see if complement is in the dictionary we do that by using an if let statement which will return a value if it is in the dictionary and if it is not in the dictionary then it'll just pass through so then we want to append the two indices if the complement index is in the dictionary. Index. So these are going to be the two numbers that will add up to our target. And then we'll return this result. And if they're not, like I said before, the if let will just pass through and we'll add the new number to our dictionary and continue our loop. And then we have to put one small return statement at the bottom here, an empty array, just in case we didn't find any of the numbers that add up to target. But in this case, the problem description says that there will be exactly one, so this will never execute. This is just to satisfy the requirements of the, the program so it doesn't yell at us. So this is everything, and um, that should solve it. On lines 11 and 12, it's supposed to be parentheses and not brackets. So I just fix that real quick and then we'll submit. And that should give us success. And it does, and it passes all the test cases. And there you have it. That's how you solve two sum in Swift.